to this conversation. This conversation has one outcome in mind, and that's healing. How can we heal emotional, physical, psychological, psychic, spiritual wounds so that we can show up in the world as whole, healthy human beings able to have really healthy, secure, stable relationships? That was a question that I asked myself a few years ago when I really felt a lacking in the ability to have healthy relationships. I realized that all of the cognitive awareness, all of the studying cognitively that I could do in any personal development was really not fully owned unless it is felt in the body. It was a very big revelation for me and that's when the concept of trigger proof was born. Now trigger proof doesn't mean trigger less. It actually means taking full responsibility for the unconscious flooding of emotions and nervous system responses we get moment to moment in our day as entrepreneurs, as parents, as husbands, as wives, as sons, as daughters, as people responsible to taking care of other people. We are at the effect of our external environment and most of the time we are unaware of what's happening in our internal environment. In fact, we go to great lengths to suppress, deny, shame, or kind of turn our backs on and stuff down our emotions. And what ends up happening is they get triggered again and again and again. And without understanding how to regulate them through self-regulation, through co-regulation with others, we then give up our ability and our power to hold the space to contain healthy, secure relationships. In February of 2020, when I returned back home from business mastermind trip in Thailand, I had to quarantine for two weeks, slowly realizing that I had to cancel six live events that I had already scheduled all over the world, not knowing which way the world is going, not knowing which direction to turn or pivot my business. Sitting all alone, I came up with an idea to create a Facebook community called Trigger Proof and do a transmission each day teaching what I normally teach people going through different types of crisis, relationship crisis, crisis of identity. And in those moments, I realized that the same skills and tools that I teach people going through these relationship and identity and health crises were perfectly fit to an audience of humanity, the collective that was everybody, it seemed, was going through a crisis of a lack of safety. The world is not safe. Uh, I don't feel safe with others. I don't know what the future holds, the economy, which way it's going to go. And I would just show up once, sometimes twice a day while I was in quarantine and slowly this community started to grow and build and now it has thousands of members who are looking to become the space where they can contain secure relationships. These transmissions are daily Q&As questions from community members, revelations from client calls that I felt would be helpful and useful to the community to start to consciously observe themselves, to move towards taking responsibility, not blame, for healing intergenerational trauma. And the whole purpose is to help awaken you to find safety in your body, to find safety within relationships, to find safety and connection to your natural environment and understanding and becoming the active operator of your nervous system. Trigger proof does not mean trigger less. I get triggered all the time. People love calling me out on it. Oh, are you triggered, Dr. Nima? Yes, I am actually. The question is, do I know what to do with it and how do I take responsibility rather than play victim to the person who triggered me? And when you do this, what happens is you get to walk through the earth 
with an open heart instead of a closed one. You feel more connected to your power. You feel more empathetic towards others, even though they might disagree, even though they actually will hate you. And so when you're listening to these transmissions, I want you to pay attention with your body and just notice what resistance comes up and whatever triggers you. And if it triggers you, I want you to welcome those feelings, even though they might feel painful. They're not designed to hurt you. They're designed to awaken you to noticing how we make everything about us and noticing how much we like to give away our power. And this conversation is about healing, taking responsibility and not becoming trigger less, but responsible to become the active operators of our nervous system so that we can then create healthy, secure relationships, the most important thing on the planet, and feel connected to ourselves, to each other, to the environment, and to spirit.